paper weaving with a silhouette frame. You will need a large paper, paper strips, scissors, ruler, pencil, and glue. Here is my paper. I'm going to fold my paper in half. I'm going to fold it short side to short side. We call that a hamburger fold, or it looks like a card or a book. Folding down the crease. On the open side, right here, I'm going to take my ruler and I am going to hold it down and I'm going to draw a line. Okay? Now, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to put a dot. Seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. You can make them a little bit spread apart, but we don't want them too close. We want seven dots on the line. Now I'm going to start from my dot and I'm going to draw a line down to the fold, down to the fold. Notice my lines aren't perfectly straight. That's okay, but I'm going to be cutting them out. So I'm not going to be crazy about my lines either. They can go a little wiggly, but not too wiggly. And again, if I did it right, this part is open. I'm going to go on the fold and I'm going to cut on my lines. And when I cut, I stop at the line on the top. That's my finish line. I'm going to cut, 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 and stop on the finish line. Cut, 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 stop on the finish line. And I'm going to do that for all seven of my lines. Nothing is falling off. I'm stopping at the finish line. Cut, 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 and stop at the finish line. Cut, 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 and stop at the finish line. Now we're going to put our name on it, on the, na on the line. And our room number. And then we're going to open it up. Now we have all of these lines. We're going to weave on these spaces. You're going to take a paper strip, any color that you want, and we're going to start at the top. And we're going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Slide it up. Then we're going to take a little bit of glue. We're going to put a piece dot of glue underneath our paper strip. On this end and on this end. So we have to flip it over, right? And it doesn't matter. We could leave it this side now. We're going to take a new color. Last time I was here, I went what? Over. So the opposite of over is under. So I'm going to go under over, under, over, under, over, under, over. I'm going to slide it up all the way up by my other row. Tight, tight, tight. I'm going to take my glue stick, put a blob of glue at the end because I don't want my strips to slide out. Flip it over. Put a glob of glue on the end. Glue stick is drying out. It's not working so good for me. Okay, now I'm ready to do a new strip. I'm going to pick a new color. So I have uh, over, and this one's under. So the next one is over. Over, under. Over, under. Over, under. Over, under. Pull it through. Slide it up. Take my glue stick, put a blob of glue on it, flip it over, put some glue on the other end. I don't want my work to come apart. I'm going to now do a pattern of repeat. So I'm going to go back to red and I'm going to do a red line. So this one was over, this one was under, this one is over, this one is under. Under, over. 
under, over, under, over, under, over. Pull it through with a glob of glue. Okay, by now you should have the idea. And because I'm doing a pattern, I'm going to go with pink for my next row, purple for my next row. Red, pink, purple. Red, pink, purple. Red, pink, purple is the pattern that I'm going to use for my colors. Go ahead and weave your strips. When you get to the very bottom, start the video to see the next part. When you are finished weaving your paper, you are then going to get a solid colored paper. We're going to make a frame. And you're going to choose a pattern. It's a silhouette, the shape of it. So you could choose a bunny. I have an egg. I have a chick, which would mean your paper goes this direction. I have a flower, and that can go either direction, horizontal or vertical. I have a butterfly, and again, I have another egg. All right, I'm going to go with probably the trickiest one, one of the trickiest ones, which is the rabbit. What you want to do then is take your rabbit silhouette, and you want to lay it directly on your paper so the edges are lined up on all sides. Then you want to take, because it is black, you're going to take a white pencil. You're going to hold it with your non-drawing hand, and you're going to trace right along the edge the shape of the object you pick. Remember, this is the rabbit. So I'm going to trace the rabbit. all the way around to the beginning. And now I have the silhouette of the rabbit. Now what we need to do is cut the rabbit out. And it is in the middle of the paper. What you can do is you can actually just cut from one side one time, and then you're going to cut exactly on the line. No scraps coming off again. Cut exactly on the line, cut out your shape all the way around, cutting and cutting and cutting, up, 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 turn your paper, turn it around on the line. The line is not a suggestion, the line is the track. You must cut on the line carefully because the scrap paper is the important part that we need to keep. So cut on the line carefully and slowly, twisting and turning the paper, Cutting on the line all the way back around to the beginning of the shape. I'm almost there. Now I have cut out a bunny. This I don't need right now for this project. This hole is what I need. The, the extra, the paper, the negative space. So check this out. I'm going to lay it on my other paper and I'm going to glue it down and now we can see my bunny in my pat project. So you're going to get glue, put glue on the back. So the back part is the part where you might see a little bit of the line. So I'm going to put glue on the back part of the paper where I might see some of the white line that I drew. And I'm going to flip it over. Also notice I flipped this over. My name's going to be on the back of this too. All right, I'm going to put it down on my paper putting it back together. It's kind of like a puzzle, right? Because I want my project to line up so that we almost can't see where I cut it. And remember the magic with glue? We rub the paper and the friction is what gets it to stick. And that is how you are going to finish your paper weaving project. Maybe you want to put an eye on there. I might get some wiggly eyes. You can put wiggly eyes on. I look forward to seeing your great projects.
Be sure that your name is on the back of your artwork. 